Hi, this is video number eight in the series of buying a house in Arizona, whether or not you're a new home buyer or you're from out of state, you're not quite sure how we do things here. I hope these videos help. Please sure, be sure and hit the subscribe button down below, click that little bell so that you can be notified whenever I add new content. So you've gone all the way through the, the getting the price you want, you inspected it, you agreed on the inspection report, you got it appraised, you, you got, got it appraised of value. Now what? Now um, your loan goes into final underwriting. So they put your whole loan package together and they put it to an underwriter that works for the lending company or the bank. The underwriter's job is to make sure that everything is compliant because these loans get sold again. And the government you know, guarantees these loans and they're, they're gonna call a loan back if after it's been sold, they're gonna call it back if later on they find there's a problem in that. So the underwriter's job is to make sure that everything is buttoned up and accurate and that uh, all the income verification is, is valid, that the appraisal is legitimate. So they, they're really covering their you know what. So that's what the underwriter does. Now, this is a point where the underwriters, you know, a good loan officer is going to try and anticipate everything the underwriter is going to ask for and get it to them on the first first run. Uh, but it's not uncommon for underwriters to go, hey, um, I'd like to see this document here. I'd like to know where this money came from last year that ended up in your bank account. They're, be prepared. They're going to ask for a lot of things and turn that around quickly because the clock is running. So you don't want to say, oh, I'll get it to you in a couple of days. Get it. Whatever they're asking for, get it into the underwriters because your loan's going nowhere until you get those documents out. So while it's in underwriting, um, we're all waiting for what they call uh, clear to close or close with conditions. In other words, well, we agree with this file, but there's one condition that has to be met and that can vary. Like, well, we want your document from last year or maybe that condition's still an outstanding appraisal. So they're gonna, they're gonna then issue a clear to close. So when you get clear to close, they are going to give you the documents and you've got 72 hours to review them before you sign the papers. Now, right before you go in and sign the papers, they go and do another soft pull on your credit. If you went out and got a charge card, or you bought a car, um, your loan is denied. So. I don't care how attractive that Kohl's card is so that you can get 20% off your first purchase. Don't open up any new credit at all during the home buying process. Because in the beginning, they've gone in and they've looked at your credit. They've done a hard pull and they got it. And sometimes the buyers think, well, they're not going to look again, but they do. They look and they do a soft pull and they go, did you just go on and buy a car? Yeah. Uh -uh. Now you don't qualify for the loan. That's dangerous stuff. Even credit cards, that's dangerous stuff. You get, do, after you buy the home, get your car, get another card, knock yourself out. But do not do that during the loan, you know, the loan approval process. It's, you're gonna get up to last day, and it happens all the time. So just don't even think about doing it. Oh, and another big thing to do, don't change jobs. <laughs> Unless they're giving you a promotion in your current job, but don't change jobs. If you want this house, just please be stable for 30 to 45 days and, uh, and then you'll get the loan. You'll get clear to close. Three days later, uh, you'll schedule with the title company and you will sign the documents. And when it records, you get delivered the keys. Then it's moving time. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com.